Welcome to the Working Without Waste podcast, powered by ERC Midwest, the podcast that's all about sharing ideas and stories that increase your productivity and decrease waste in your business and personal life. I'm your host, Mike Malatesta, one of the leaders here at ERC Midwest. Today's guest is Ophir Penzo, the Global Director of Partnerships at Monday.com. Monday.com is a project management software that helps organizations manage tasks, projects, and teamwork. The company serves more than 100,000 clients globally and has over 600 employees. Ophir was one of the earliest employees at Monday. We use Monday at, at ERC Midwest for just about everything. It's something we discovered a little over a year ago, and it's something we can't get enough of. And so I'm really excited to share uh, not only Ophir's experience with Monday and his expertise, but our experience as well. So Ophir is joining us today from Tel Aviv, Israel. And Ophir, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mike. Pleasure to be here, guys. So um, I guess I wanted to start, Ophir, with just uh, what what was the problem that Monday.com was designed to solve? Yeah, so I think that it's interesting, like since I joined Monday.com and, and you mentioned it earlier in the beginning, and I joined a, you know, a very like, you know, different company from what it is today. It was a very small company back then. We were roughly 50 employees. And it was a very small startup. But since that day, so it's actually exactly three years ago, and until today, the mission of our team was exactly the same, okay? And it was always to help teams across the globe to fulfill their full potential as a team. So eventually, our main idea was to create a platform which is flexible, easy to use, but also very robust to really help every team out there to work and manage all their core processes in one single platform. So I think that, you know, from that vision started... I think early 2012 when we launched and we, when we founded money.com. And until today, we have the same vision in mind. Now with probably a much robust platform and obviously a bigger company in place. And what was it about teams not fulfilling their full potential that got the founder's attention and then get, got all of your... So I, I, usually that comes from some sort of pain point or some experience that you've had in your life that you didn't like and thought could be better. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So, um, you know, if you, you get back to our founder's story, so first of all, our founder is uh, Roy Diman, and he was part of the first initial team of Wix.com, another um, startup, Israeli-based startup, and now, you know, a public company, a traded company. And he realized um, that basically people nowadays are facing challenges that back then we maybe didn't face. Okay, so if you look at the way that you know work transformed in the last probably decade, you can see that people are now obviously they are always connected, right? And lots of organizations are starting to break those silos. It used to be that you have you know your higher management take take the decisions for the organization, and then they start to kind of like give the maybe mission goals to the low level so called employees. Nowadays, organizations are starting to understand that, you know, the strategy and the tactics comes from, you know, um, bottom up. And every single employee in your organization is a leader in a way. And he needs the right tools, the right, you know, way to communicate in the organization, to manage his projects, his processes that might be for every one of us across company strategic projects, right? So with that in mind and seeing the transformation that organizations are doing from becoming less centralized to more distributed, but also autonomous. And I think that our founders understood really early on that, you know, new tools are needed in place. And there's transformation that needed to be from the more, I will say, legacy platforms, tools that are very vertical oriented to platforms that can everyone, everyone can use actually, right? Like every single person in the organization can take such a, a tool, as you mentioned at the beginning, and manage every aspect of this war. And I think that's what led our founders to eventually launch Monday.com. Okay. And Monday is 
I mean, the, the way I look at it, and you tell me if, if I'm, uh, you know, kind of off in left field here, but the way I look at it is, is it's a, it's basically a tool that's combined, you know, the, it's basically a tool that's combined multiple different tools that maybe people and companies had to use before uh, into one sort of completely integrated platform. So as you said, um, you know, instead of having to go, oh, we have this software for this or this software for this or this software for this, we've got, we developed Monday that can handle all of these things. Am I on the right track there? Is that how you would say it or? I think you are, but maybe I will ask you a question. So I will circle it back to you, right? Think about your organizations and the way that you're, you're, you're using money.com today, right? Like what money.com replaces or creates for your organization, right? Yeah, well, um, so spreadsheets, it's getting rid of spreadsheets. It's getting rid of, um, you know, different share files and other types of uh, products we were using to store um, you know, quotes or proposals or something like that. It's really gotten us, in addition to replacing stuff, Ophir, it's actually given us a chance to start tracking things that we never tracked before or we tracked in a manual process that couldn't be shared or sliced and diced or even managed very well. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that the, that exact story that you're telling, that's what we're seeing. So we started, obviously... Maybe back then, as a, you know, more of a project management, maybe replacing some of the um, older project management tools, and obviously lots of spreadsheets. And what one of the things that I'm still seeing when I'm going into like organizations with our, you know, teams and clients and partners, I'm seeing many of our organizations, and they don't have a specific tool for process A, right? Managing their flights managing their requests coming from the team or building a process for approval for one of their core processes in the organization, and which they used to manage for maybe you know, years over the years in different sp spreadsheets, Excels, without really structuring those processes. And now you see them coming to you know, monday.com and starting to pull those practices. Some of them, again, managed in different tools, but some of them are just unmanaged in a way, right? And right. they start to kind of like fill and create boards and workflows to support these core processes and key processes. And what you will see eventually to answer your first question is that organizations are starting to kind of like use money.com as a work operating system. They use it as the core tool to manage their work while they replace maybe old spreadsheets, old tools that they were using to a specific and trick or process or project, and they start to use money.com for everything, but also creating new processes that they didn't imagine back then that they needed a tool for. Mm. I wanted to add, uh, as you were as you were talking about that, one of the things that it's hasn't replaced, but it's decreased tremendously is email traffic back and forth, particularly about a certain topic or a project that you can build a board for and track in Monday. Yeah, I think, you know, if you will ask, you know, if you ask anyone in money.com, you will see that we are barely using our emails internally. And think about it. Like, I think it was strong when I joined the company when we were only 50 people. And then when we grew, like after a year to roughly 200, it was still impressive. Nowadays, we're getting, you know, I think that we are roughly 600 people. And it's still that, you know, in our company, we barely use emails internally. So mm -hmm. I think, you know, you, you barely see companies that don't really use emails anymore. So I can completely, you know, understand your point here. Well, Ophir, what is the difference for, for people listening? The they may not understand the difference between, say, what Monday.com is and uh, an ERP system that they may have or be familiar with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a legit question. And I think that, you know... You just mentioned ERP, but we will see more and more people asking like about, you know, specific vertical solution X, like for example, CRM. So what's the difference between Monday to ERP? What's the difference between money.com to CRM? And I think that the beauty of our platform is that it's not only like one trick point, right? It's not that we only solve one vertical or diagram kind of like software that serves you for a specific need. So if you look at the CRM, right? 
CRM eventually it's there to help you manage your client management, right? Client relationship management uh, from, you know, managing the leads, managing the process with the clients and basically the whole sales cycle. Once the sales cycle ends, what do you do with the CRM? Basically, you need to move to the next platform, maybe to another process. And what you will see on Monday, that we're not managing only like one specific process. So same goes to like ERP. ERP is still for, you know, managing all the financial aspects of the company, right? And in Monday, you can basically take the platform. It's flexible enough that you can create an ERP out of Monday, you can create a CRM out of Monday, but in the same time, you can also create the next process in place. So it's not like a single standalone solution that you use for a specific vertical um, or for a specific need. You can basically take the same um, platform, which has a very strong infrastructure, and you can create different solutions for different business problems that you have in the organizations. So that will be the main difference you know, between Monday.com work um, operating system to more CRM or ERP. Okay. And let's... Let's talk a little bit about how Monday works specifically. And I'm I am far from the expert in our company on Monday, but but I think I can ask the right question at least. So Monday um, is uh, has boards, so you create what what are called boards for the different um, activities you want to uh, keep track of. Um, so if there's project management, there's uh, marketing, creative, HR, IT, remote work, CRM, as you mentioned. And then there's, so that's something that's, pr it's intuitive. Um, like we've been able to figure out, generally speaking, how we want to, to do that just out of the box, just playing with it. And then there's this sort of next step, which is integrating boards so that, you know, you're, you're basically creating boards that are allowing information to flow between one another um, and be, I guess, more usable uh, for, uh, for the company. Can you talk about, well, first, do I have that right? And second, can you talk about that, please? Yeah, yeah. I think it was very like the very, I yeah, will say, initial kind of like explanation of what Monday is and how we kind of like structure the product, right? But yeah, of course, as you just mentioned, the heart of the product is what we call the board, right? Board is, you know, for me, I look at it as a da database, right? And it's only the infrastructure of what you're going to later do with this data points that you enter to the system to later on visual that or automate, integrate with any other system in your organization to eventually build a whole workflow. So the way that it works, Monday.com builds out of like usually three components, right? So we have the boards, we have the items themselves, which is again, data point. And then we have the columns, maybe similar in a way to, you know, the way that spreadsheet is structured. But the beauty of the system is that it gives you two core capabilities, right? The first one is to connect those boards or a couple of boards to talk and speak with, you know, one each other. And eventually you can start and create a workflow out of, you know, a multiple amount of boards that are structured differently and basically create yourself an application, right? So you can use those data sets, the data points that you enter to the system and start to pull them as we, as we just mentioned and as maybe a CRM, right? So if I want to consume the same data that I created in my board as you know a CRM, I just can create it myself in the platform and structure my boards accordingly and I will have it as a CRM. Now, the second layer of the system is all the you know additional widgets, views, automations, and you know, external products that we have in, in, in money.com that eventually help you to connect all of those together, different again boards or different even um, softwares together and create one workflow. And again, let's connect it to you know, real life examples. When you have a CRM system, so you can manage your you know, data points, let's say your contact details, your deals details, your sales cycle in one place or in a couple of boards in money.com. But then when you know you close the deal, for example, and you move to the delivery side, you now want to start to manage the maybe supply chain or, you know, the delivery aspect of the product, whatever you sell, right? And you can use the exact same infrastructure, just design differently on money.com to start and manage maybe the delivery of the product, right? 
And then you can create yourself with integration, with automation, with layers that the product offers to users, different workflows and use cases in which you can use money.com for. And that's the idea of the product. Okay. And we, um, I know you have different, Monday's got different plans, um, you know, that offer different capabilities. And we started, we actually started with um, Monday because Ryan, we, we, we teamed up with Ryan's company who's, the, who's editing this. And he, was, he, he and his partner were using Monday. We'd never heard of Monday. That was a year ago, just over a year ago. We'd never heard of Monday. And we had all these different, um, we had different systems and lack of systems. So when we saw Monday, everybody got excited about it. And you mentioned, you know, bottom up. Um, we, we had, you know, we, we consider ourselves to be on the bottom, but we had a lot of people who, um, got excited about, they saw what Monday was and they saw what they were doing every day and thought, oh my gosh, you know, if we could, you know, use Monday, um, that would help me save this, 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 and this. And we could all actually know where information is instead of having to go to one person or another. But we started like at a, you know, like a, I don't know, root the low level plan. Right. And then as we've gotten more, it's sort of like, as you start using it, people are like, Oh, it'd be cool if we could do this. And it'd be cool if we could do this. And we were able to do a lot of that, build the boards and all. And then we got to the point where, you know, integrating the way we wanted to integrate became more of a challenge for us than our plan, than we could do, or our plan could, could support. So could you just walk us through like how you can get started with Monday and how it can grow alongside of you? Yeah, yeah, of course. And I think that, you know, the story that you were telling just, you know, you know, a second ago, that's what we're seeing every day with organizations. First of all, you know, the, the product is is fun. And we build money.com to be a very, you know, 2.0 kind of, kind of platform that people, first of all, enjoy it. So, you know, and we were used to a world in which software was something that we are afraid of. Right, like software, it's like you know, it's techy. It's usually right. not as nice, right? It might be even ugly sometimes, and it's not friendly to the user. Yeah, it's and gonna be hard to learn. Like, right? Yeah, it's like thinking. you know, it's gonna be hard to yeah. Yeah, they will think right away like, what's this kind of like piece of software that you're getting into my organization, right? And and what we noticed, and when we created Monday, we really wanted to wanted to create a product which is first of all, you know, it's um, fun to use. Easy to adopt, even beautiful. You know, when you look at it, it's like you, you love the UI and the UX. You really enjoy it. It makes you kind of like feel joy. And that's where we started. And what you will see, and then maybe the effect of what we created, is that when you start and implement money.com in organizations, it will, we will start to see a viral effect. So people are using it usually with maybe a smaller team. And if I will connect it to the plans, they will start with our maybe basic tier of the plan, right? We have different tiers in each one of our um, plans. And usually the first adoption will be maybe around the basic standard tiers of the software. And it will be with maybe limited capabilities or features, right? As organizations grow and more users are coming into the system, um, you start first of all to develop the way that you use, you use money.com. So, you know, think about your iPhone. Everyone can use your like the, the, the iPhone or the smartphone. And, but what, you can create it if you want to be very technical. You can, you know, add more and more apps and layers in your iPhone and make it a very complex one. Versus, you know, my grandmother, she can use the same iPhone with maybe only two apps, right? Like, a, you know, cellular and, a, a, you know, maybe direct messaging, right? So you can use the same product in a very, um, I will say, simple way, but also in the same time use it for a very robust kind of like a use case. And what we've seen that as organizations grow and more people are using the software, they start to use it with like in a more complex way and use more and more features of the product. And they then they also climb the level of tiers that we offer to our users. And they can start and use the pro version of the product, the enterprise version in which we offer automations, integrations, connecting to different software that you are already using in your day-to-day -day and make it more robust solution rather than a simple one or maybe smaller thing. Okay. Thank I appreciate that. Is there, you know, as you're talking to, you know, customers, potential customers throughout the world, have you, are there like certain 
use cases that are like perfect for Monday or do, or do you feel like it's a solution really, well, you mentioned earlier, you know, the, the things that I was saying you hear all the time. So maybe it is just a universal need to connect. And you mentioned at the beginning, you know, that it's, it's about fulfilling the full potential of the team. And are, basically, are you seeing, are you seeing specific use, use cases where like, these are perfect for Monday? I'm trying to get into people's minds, you know, why or why not they should be, they should be interested in and looking at monday.com. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think that, first of all, we are very proud at, you know, saying and seeing in our, um, you know, client side, that money.com is being used for any type of vertical. Seriously, if you will think and see the companies that are using money.com, you will find, you know, from the top tech companies, right, very techy organizations to the very, you know, maybe old organizations that are now transforming and thinking about kind of like restructuring their processes. And, you know, they can they can come from any type of vertical, from, you know, manufacturing. We have people that design, you know, airplanes on money.com, you know, manage podcasts or manage their, you know, barbershop, right? And so we are very, very kind of like omni-vertical in a way. But in the same time, obviously, you will see that, you know, some verticals tend to, you know, start with money.com earlier. And our entry point to some of the organizations might be, you know, obviously straightforward project management and process management or process automation, but also, you know, things like creative teams, marketing teams are very, you know, likely to use money.com. And you can see lots of construction companies using money.com. So anything which is around, you know, managing more complex projects with different layers and processes, you know, will be a good entry point for money.com and organization. And then usually it spreads to operation, sales, and um, delivery, and et cetera. Okay. I w- as you were t- talking about create, we, well, we, we use it for creative. So we use it for all of our marketing. We use it. It's been a, and I've heard you, I've heard you, your company advertise on some of the bigger name podcasts about how they're using Monday. We, I think we were ahead of them using Monday for podcast management because we have a couple of different podcasts that we do. And it's, you know, tracking guests and appearances and time, well, just like you, time zones. And yes, he, you know, Ophir said he would do it on this date at this time. It's not easy to do in a spreadsheet uh, and share, you know, I mean, I guess you could use a Google doc, but I find those kind of clunky. Um, but we put it all together in Monday and all of our, you know, it's just one thing that we do, but all of our marketing podcasts, email blasts, you know, our, all of our social media feeds, all of that are managed, right? in um in monday.com and it's just fen- it's a phenomenal tool for that and for lots of stuff i was just kind of getting off on a podcast tangent there for a second yeah and i can feel it there i can tell you that you know like i'm now leading a team which is you know distributed across the globe right like we have team members in in australia through obviously tel aviv our edge quarter but also you know through london north america so new york miami and even now recently we hired someone in brazil right Sao Paulo, Brazil. And think about it, like managing such a team and, you know, keeping the level of, um, you know, alignment and being able to update everyone on what's going on, collaborate across the team, even especially now in like more of COVID times and new reality that we are facing. So I think, you know, one of the powerful sides of Monday is the ability to be such, so flex, like, sorry, so flexible tool to eventually help us manage such an operation, which is fully distributed, right? So that's one of the things that we are doing as well with Monday, managing, you know, distributed team like mine. So that so that's interesting because, obvi- you know, with all the work at home that's going on, people are starting to think differently about, do we need people, as many people in the office as frequently as we thought we might? And I want to sort of turn that back to your own experience. So we're... What has changed about the way you work with Monday, given the the way that you know COVID has has changed globally? The first probably globally, uh, it, the first global phenomenon in our generation, at least that's changed. It's affected everybody in some way or another, right? So, what's changed about how you think about using Monday as a result of what's happened? 
Yeah, I, I can tell you it was a super interesting lesson for, for at least, you know, myself, but I think that for the whole organization, we transformed overnight, you know, from we were very much, you know, office company. We were hiring our people in the office or next to our, you know, core offices. So next to Tel Aviv, next to London, next to Sydney, Australia, next to New York. And overnight, we moved from, you know, 100% office-based company to 100%, you know, distributed people working from home. We now need to support the whole kind of like system and the whole organization, more than 600 employees working from their, you know, apartments. And I think that what we've, you know, seen that one, it was pretty easy for us. Although we were very much office, you know, oriented in the way that we work, the, you know, the fact that we were using our platform anyway to, you know, many our day to day, help us seamlessly transition and, and manage our operation in the same way that we used to do, because we were, you know, keep using the same boards to manage our weeklies. We kept, we kept using the same, you know, and collaborations, chats that we used on the system to collaborate with each other. And what we mainly did, we started to make it the core of maybe our meeting, right? Instead of just having it, you know, using some of the products as to maybe just document some of our meetings or even just, you know, use, it, use it some of the boards for a knowledge base, we start to put it as the center of our meeting. We start mm -hmm. to manage meetings on top of our boards. We start to, you know, manage conversations and action items right away in money.com versus, you know, summarizing the meeting and use it more for documentation in some of the cases, right? And another aspect was it helped us to quickly also create processes that are now needed and before we didn't need them. For example, you know, we probably more than tripled our operation in, in you know, delivering equipment or even gifts to our employees, right? And back then we were doing it in the office and we had like our operations team sitting in the office and, you know, handling the delivery. And we now needed to start and, you know, manage list of people and did we deliver it to them, where they are located, what's the delivery status, and different requests from different, you know, regions and countries. And, you know, it was super easy for us to implement such a process because we are, you know, using the same system that we're using to, you know, every kind of like single aspect of our, of our business. Yeah. That, uh, that makes sense. So, the, so you were, a, you were a hundred, almost a hundred percent office based and went immediately to a hundred percent. Yeah. I think it's, it was 95% like yeah. uh, office based, like we okay. had like very little amount of employees working from home. And nowadays you can see like, I'm taking this call from, you know, from my home. And again, I'm, you know, my whole team is distributed working from home. And uh, we recently, like, you know, started to open our office where it's allowed, but majority of the company is working from home. And the last question here, Ophir, could you share with us a Monday.com success story that people would recognize, that most people would recognize as, you know, a, a company name or a situation that, you know, so that basically we can connect this with not just our company's experience or what you've described, but some, someone, a company that people are like, Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, I would want to be like that. So, so yes, Mike, of course, like, um, I'm not able to share this specific name, but I can just share that, you know, one of the, you know, global co-working uh, spaces, you know, uh, organizations, companies are heavy users of money.com. And I think that what's interesting. And when we think about success story, now we'll connect it to our discussion earlier today, right? So uh, we just talked about organizations that are starting from maybe smaller teams, starting with different plans of Monday and with maybe one specific use case. And then they start to enroll the solution to, you know, their organization. What we've seen with, with you know, that customer is that we got into a specific, you know, use case. One of their HR, you know, leaders we're looking for a solution to better ma manage their HR, you know, activities, events, recruitment, efforts, and processes. And we started with a very kind of like a little use case with also a couple of, you know, tens users. And quickly when we got into the organization and started to implement the solution, you notice that lots of other departments were started to notice, you know, money.com. And it started to become viral in the organization. Mm -hmm. And we were actually getting, you know, approached by, by different departments coming to that specific, you know, HR leader, asking them to start and maybe try money.com to their department. So eventually 
you know, one of the marketing team members there, one of the marketing leaders came to that HR leader and told him like, I've seen what you were using money.com for in your organization. I want to try also in my group. And we started to, you know, step-by-step step scale the organization. And nowadays we are in enterprise level implementation there. And basically once you are, if, let's say you're a new employee joining that organization, in your first day, you will get, you know, a money.com, you know, auto automation, welcoming you to the organization, but also inviting you to use now money.com to the onboarding process to the company. And from there, use it for yourself or any new project, new initiative that you're going to manage in the organization. So I think that's like one cool story that we can share out of, you know, many of them that we see every day in different verticals and different operations. Got it. Well, thank you so much, Ophir. How do people find out about Monday? Um, obviously, you go to monday.com, I suppose. But if they want to make contact with someone, uh, is there a way to do that? Or what, what's the best way for people to get started? Yeah, so I think that first and foremost, I will, you know, recommend highly, you know, getting into our website, web page, you know, money.com and start to see, you know, some of our videos. I think that our YouTube channel is amazing. We created lots of different videos for different verticals and they even really, you know, pick and choose the specific video that will showcase you a use case that you can maybe like five minutes later use and try it like for yourself. And you can create yourself a trial on our website. So it's a free trial for 14 days that you can just create by yourself. And eventually, if you have any questions and you know you want some more assistance, you can just email to support at money.com. Well, I can tell you that um, for the folks listening to this, you know, this podcast is about decreasing waste and increasing productivity in your business and personal life. And our experience has been that Monday.com will most certainly accomplish that goal. So do yourself a favor and at least check it out, learn more, um, because if it can help us and 100,000 other clients and they're, you know, Monday's just getting started still, basically, um, it can probably help you as well. So Ophir, thank you so much for being on the show today and helping us get a better idea of what Monday.com is all about. Thank you, Mike. I enjoyed, you know, the time here in the discussion. And, you know, I look forward to seeing more people and trying out money.com. Thanks a lot.